I've said it before and I will say it again. In order to be successful on the WW Purple Plan, you have to plan your eating. If you want to see everything that I'm bringing to work today for an entire lunch and dinner outside the house, stick around. We're getting into it right now. Welcome back. My name is Manya, and I've lost over 30 pounds on the WW Purple Plan. Now, I eat mostly a whole food, plant-based diet, and I live in North Texas, which means that I can never rely on going out to eat to stay on plan. I can do it occasionally, but on a daily basis, I have to bring every morsel of food that I'm going to put in my lap. Today is Tuesday. It's about 10 a.m., so I've already had breakfast. I will insert a picture somewhere showing you what I eat. Every morning I eat a giant bowl of oatmeal, and then a couple hours later I eat a snack, and that's what this is. So this is one slice of toasted Ezekiel bread, 17 grams of uh, peanut powder made into peanut butter. That is one point because this is the type of peanut powder that has no sugar and no salt. So it's just one point. And then a uh, sliced banana. So I'll be eating those as soon as this video is done. And then I will be out of the house in about an hour until potentially 9 p.m. tonight. I have a really long day. So what I thought I would show you is everything that I bring. now. It's so much stuff, it doesn't, I can't close my lunch bag. I actually have a bigger lunch bag coming my way from Amazon. I'll link it below. I just, this is not big enough for me, but I've been using it for the past couple of years. So I'm gonna unload this and let me start by showing you lunch. Okay, this is lunch. And these are leftovers from two nights ago. If you're not following me on Connect or Instagram, you should, because I showed this dinner. So this is brown rice, roasted Brussels sprouts, and instant pot cooked carrots. And then what I have in here is a navy bean concoction. It's just cooked navy beans that I cooked in my Instapot maybe a week ago. I sauteed some onions and garlic and then put the navy beans in there with some spices and then I added chopped kale for some nutrition. So this is kind of a brown rice bowl I would say. I'll put nutritional yeast on top of this and that will be lunch. And then for an afternoon snack I have many options, but I have some cooked Scottish oatmeal. If you've been watching me for any length of time, you know that I love Scottish oatmeal. I batch cook it in a slow cooker, and then I will heat this up and put some blueberries in there. So that could be one of my snacks. I also have two cutie clementines and some more peanut butter that I made from that same peanut powder, but I put a quarter teaspoon, no wait, I did grams, seven grams, I believe, of agave to sweeten it up a little bit. I didn't really plan this super well because I have the peanut butter, the cuties, and then I also have some red seedless grapes. So I'm not really sure what I was thinking with the peanut butter or how I'm gonna eat it. I might just scoop it out with a spoon, quite honestly, because it's delicious. Uh, you'd think I would bring a banana, but it is June in North Texas and there is no way a banana will last in the car. <laughs> I've tried it, it's gross, never again. So those are all of my options. And then for dinner, what I have is, um, these are my zero point refried beans. It's really just uh, beans. You can get canned. I cooked from dry in my Instant Pot and then mash them up and mix them with a salsa. I will link the video below. It's the easiest thing in the world. And then these are just little baby new potatoes that I cooked for 10 minutes in the Instant Pot. Um, not a lot of greens in this. Very heavy carbohydrates and starch and protein. 
because my evening meeting starts at 7 and I don't know how long it's going to go. So my goal with this meal is to be full as long as possible because in that 7 o'clock meeting I cannot eat. I feel comfortable eating in a lot of meetings but um, not this one. <laughs> this is kind of a, a VIP meeting and people don't eat in it. So as always I have a little bag with me that has some, this is just regular table salt and then my container of nutritional yeast if you're not familiar with nutritional yeast, it lends a cheesy flavor to things without dairy. So that is everything that I have with me, plus of course my silverware. <laughs> I am a self-contained unit and if I can't get to a microwave, all of this stuff can be eaten cold. It's not my favorite, but it can be in a pinch. So I should be set up for eating the rest of the day. There should be no uh, impulses to go and eat food that is not nutritious and healthy for me. That's how I am successful. I hope you found this video helpful and I will see you in the next one. Ciao.